we take it as the sigma algebra defined by the all open set so that we say that the Borel of x is equal to sigma c where now c is the open sets. The proposition below says that um, the same sigma algebra can be defined with generated with lots of different collections so the open sets generate some sigma algebra but then we could ask okay what sigma algebra is generated by the closed sets of the real line the answer is that the same sigma algebra so the same Borel sigma algebra is generated by the taking the open sets as the generator or taking the closed sets as, as the generator and we kind of understand that uh, one sigma algebra can be generated by the several by several different things and actually in this proposition that's below are listed four different things there's a collection of the this type of uh, half um, infinite intervals closed intervals there are closed intervals uh, which are bounded and so on. So four different collections of C that we could look. And the claim is that each of these generates the Borel sigma algebra on the real line. That is very convenient later in applications, but uh, that's something we will discuss more on Wednesday. This is uh, almost all that I wanted to tell you today. We didn't have time to finish everything as usual in lectures, but uh, luckily we have 11 more lectures to go.